Hey guys, so I'm finally back doing another video. It's been a long while, I know, but I'm out camping. It's beautiful sunshine. It's been amazing. Really missed it. Me and my sister have got a bell tent now, which we're staying in for a long period of time, actually. So living out here, enjoying nature and loving life, really learning more about myself, uh, the environment and yeah just living simply and living each day as it comes really. I'm making a in the process of making a candle holder actually and I'm just chiseling out some some circles uh, to put some tea light candles in so it's gonna be nice and then I can put that in the bell tent in the evenings so that'll be really nice whilst we're reading a book or something to so the candles can sit sit nicely in there so, just going to crack on with that. So I've just finished up on that now and cut out all the inserts, so looking pretty good. Cheers, Wheeze. Kelly kettle action complete. Ooh, lovely. Is yeah, if you haven't like already a... got a Kelly kettle, I'd uh, recommend getting one. Good, aren't they? Yeah, they are. Better than gas. Yeah. How's your. Uh... Yeah, they're going really well. Coming along. Oh, what doing... is it? Your bowl? Yeah, I'm doing step, step by step. Mrs. Bushwhacker bought me this. And... Doing step by step. Very nice. So yeah, I'm at page 17. What I've, book's that then? I've got 1,500 pages to go. <laughs> <laughs> what book's that then? That's that book that shows you that sculpting traditional bowls. Rip and Tammy Man. Nice. Step by step, it's really good. A bit more technical than tea lights then. <laughs> yeah, it's any. any Carvings, technical, everything's got its skill, is not it? Yeah, for sure. Everything's got its skill base. So yeah, I can't wait to see that when it's all done. Well, if it don't work out, it's good firewood. <laughs> <laughs> Just going to show you our camp set up now. This is our tent for our bags and bits and bobs and everything in there. 
So this is our fire pit area where we sit in the evenings. This is the bell tent where we are staying. So we've got a wood burner in here as well. So just a massive thanks to John from Somerset for that. Really kind of you. It's amazing, really keeps us warm. So yeah, love it. It's our little wood store. So it's pretty spacious in here. It's four meters. So fits us both in here, lovely. This is my area got a bed chair so that was a great buy really happy I got that super comfortable so yeah it's pretty luxe um, Bex is on her uh, blow up mattress so, so yeah loving life in here and we've got our food and bits in that box and our candles and everything uh, in the evenings and obviously my little tea light candle holder that I made there and then wake up in the morning to to that so it's been about three weeks now since we've been here Really enjoying it. Spending time outside, especially as the UK is now in lockdown. It's nice to be actually be outside, getting some vitamin D rather than being stuck indoors, working on skills out here and enjoying the nature and the environment. So that's the setup, and that's the location. And I'm hopefully going to be doing videos more often of um, my time up here. And this is our chill out spot, as you can say, sunbathing spot when it's nice days like this and our carving location. What are you making there then? The spoon. <laughs> it's getting there, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. How are you finding it, being here? Yeah, it's been really nice. Especially when the weather's like this, it's uh, making things a lot easier with like light and fires and that. Yeah, definitely, as we had a rainy week, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. Which made it quite difficult and quite chilly. Yeah, it's horrible and it's damp and you've got to split wood down and stuff like that. But this has been really nice. Getting some rays as well. At the yeah. So Bex is doing a full series of our time up here. So if you check out her videos and everything, you'll see us both on there. Uh, for the series, our bow tent series. So this is inside the bell tent now and I've got the little tea lights in the holders that I made today. So it's a really cute look. So I've just come round to the bushwhackers camp now where we all are got a fire on under what's this the Swedish 
Swedish Torch. <laughs> Swedish Torch, what a name. They designed it in Sweden, didn't they? So you don't need That's a lot of cool wood. That's cool, that is. And Bex has made us some hot chocolate. <laughs> Thanks for watching, we'll see you guys next time, stay tuned on the videos, catch you soon.